Okay, guys. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about uh, one last example. Very, very short video on. I will show you one example how to uh, to analyze a wisdom bridge under unbalanced condition using Thevenin equivalent method. Okay. So let's say, for example, you have a, an equivalent. Uh, you have a wisdom bridge here. And then uh, from this resistance, we can tell that the. I uh, can calculate that all resistance here are under unbalanced condition. Okay, assume it. Alright, so how, what's the first step? So the first step is to find the Thevenin equivalent voltage between A and B. Okay, between this point A and B. Alright, and then remember that now it's just uh, E. Lah. It can be or you same thing. So Thevenin voltage equals to the voltage, the magnitude of voltage A minus voltage B or the magnitude of voltage B minus voltage A. Alright, so it doesn't matter you went to, to, to minus A or B or minus B minus A. It will be the same thing. Okay, so remember from our the formula that I showed you before. Okay, the Thevenin voltage is simply the source voltage here, the E here, this is E here, eh, equals to six volt, multiplied by the ratio of uh, R four and R two, basically for resistor on this arm of the branch. Okay, minus the ratio for this arm of the branch. Okay, and you plug plug in all the numbers and you can calculate that. The Thevenin voltage is around 1.0.132 volt. Okay, now you've, you're done with Thevenin voltage. Now the next step is to find the equivalent Thevenin resistance. Okay, so Thevenin resistance basically, if you 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 can you can redraw again the circuit and remove the galvanometer and short the, the 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 voltage source, but you know just use this formula that we have given before. So it's just R1 multiplied by R3 plus uh, R1 plus R divided by R1 plus R3. So basically, this branch, uh, this parallel branch of the resistor, and plus R2 multiplied by R4 divided by R2 plus R4, which is resistor on this part of the branch. Okay, you plug in all the numbers, and then you got the Thevenin resistance is 2.778. So and then you can draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit using this simplified circuit. So basically, the Thevenin equivalent circuit is basically will show you one voltage source which is called Thevenin voltage and one equivalent resistance okay and then there's another resistance connected which is also the galvanometer resistance okay so the equivalent circuit connected along the galvanometer is as shown here for this one here okay so and then finally you can you can calculate the current flowing through the galvanometer which is current flowing through here this is I of G okay is equal to Thevenin voltage divided by the Thevenin resistance plus the uh, galvanometer resistance. Okay, you plug in the numbers, and there you go. You have the galvanometer uh, current. Okay, it's around forty-two point eight microamp. Very very small current. All right. So I think um, let's talk about lastly about piston application, piston bridge application. So basically, in, in, in real practical application, um, Bridgestone Bridge is used to measure the DC resistance of various type of wire for the purpose of quality control all the way itself or some assembly in which it's used. For example, um, resistance of motor windings. You know that in, in motor, in electrical motor, there's a lot of windings or wires. So one of the parameters which is important for engineer to, to, to determine is what is the resistance of the motor windings. Yeah. For example, and then uh, there's also transformer. Transformer also got windings. Solenoids and relay coils can be measured using uh, Wheatstone Wheatstone Bridge. Okay. So and then also Wheatstone Bridge can be used to locate cable fault by communication companies. Okay, the fault may be two lines are shorted together when you no know, uh, the communication line have a certain resistance. Yeah? maybe a few ohms for, for a few kilometers but for example if you measure using a wisdom bridge and you got this different different value of resistance then we can locate uh, very pretty roughly where is the, sh the short uh, the uh, wire in the, in the communication line okay and then finally um one of the application for wisdom bridge is that it can be used to measure strain gauges okay strain gauges is basically that Okay, it's basically a strip of wire that whenever the, the strip of wire is stretched or stressed, it will create a different value of resistance across all the wire inside the gauge. Okay, so this is in fact only to, to measure how much pressure or how much uh, 
um, stress is given to, to the material. Okay, so this is also a very important tool for measurement of mechanical. For example, you want to measure how many uh, pascal or how many newton newton force is being ex uh, being exposed to that uh, strain gauge. Okay, so you want to measure that. So strain gauge is basically to to translate from the mechanical pressure, or mechanical stress into electrical equivalent measurement. So okay, so I think that's about it um, on Wisdom Bridge. So I'll see you again on the next video on AC bridges. Okay. Oh, I think that we are not done yet. There's no, there's one more on, on Kelvin bridge. Forgot about that. So I'll see you again later on. Thank you very much. Bye bye.